Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to explain uh, polygons and topology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a cube and I'm going to try to make this uh, make sense the best way possible. So um, the first thing I'm going to do uh, is explain to you edges, vertices, and faces. So holding right click on my keyboard, or on my mouse, excuse me, with the object selected. The object must be, uh, well, in this case I need the object to be selected, otherwise I won't be able to select the edges on this particular object. Um, so I've got uh, my edges. So what this is, is basically every edge on here, uh, you need a minimum of three, but in this case we have four. We need uh, a minimum of three edges in order to project a face. So in this case I have four because it's a, uh, a cube, right? So um, on this side, or a square if you will. And what makes these edges are vertices. So if I hold right click and go to vertex, so I have one, two, three, four in this instance uh, projecting the edges, which the edges project the face. So without <clears throat> these uh, vertices, I would no, not be able to have this edge. Every edge must have two, a minimum of two points, uh, or every it will have a minimum of two points. So we have uh, a vertice for, let's just call this vertice A and vertice B, right? That allows the software to uh, create this edge or this line. So um, if you think about it in like basic uh, sort of algebra or mathematics or something, um, in order to calculate distance, you have to have uh, two points, right? So in this case, this basically calculates the distance of this edge w using these vertex points. Now, um, that being said, those all in in this instance, we have four vertices creating four edges, which in s in essence creates one polygonal face. Now I'm going to just go into here and explain a little bit further in detail. I'm going to delete all the other edges. So I just have this poly plane. It looks like a square. You'll notice the back side is black. And that's because Maya can only project a face in one direction. When it's black, it's a there's actually it's basically nothing there because what a 3D object is is a bunch of two-dimensional planes creating a three-dimensional object. That's really all it is. So um, let me go in here and get a little bit further. Um, so we have to have a minimum of three to create one face. So if I delete this one vertice, <clears throat> you'll notice I have one, two, and three. And although there is, I'm going to undo that really quickly, although there is four vertices, the um, software actually, even though it doesn't display it visually for us, it's breaking it down into two triangles for us. So I'm going to grab this tool, this is the multi-cut tool, and I'm just going to show you really quickly. And we get in, I go in later in the semester, uh, how to use this tool and, and everything like that so don't be concerned about the tool too much yet but what is happening when this software uh, is reading a square or a, a quad here we have a polyplane it's really breaking it down into two triangles so um, it's just easier for the software to manage uh, the the calculations in order to create this face and you'll notice if I bring this over and I go at the right angle here that you can see it actually breaks it down like so. Now, even if I delete this edge, right, you'll see it still has that same edge uh, where it's bending. And that's because it's actually breaking it into two triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that again. And you'll notice it's the same exact edge, right? That same sort of angle cut. And wherever I move this, it won't matter. It's always going to break it into two triangles. It's just not visually showing it to us. But if we go ahead and I'm just going to manually cut it in here so you can visually see it, you'll see that it just 
it's really just doing the same thing and now I'll go ahead and delete it and that edge will not change at all in fact actually it did it went to the opposite side but it's still breaking it down into two triangles so um, here I have it cut this way but when I delete it because it because we're not telling it what direction this angle to go into it breaks it down into the other way I hope that sort of makes sense so um, that's really all uh, what a polygon is now I'm gonna again I'm gonna show you one other thing uh, it's trying to dive further into what a uh, polyplane is and what a three-dimensional object is so these edges vertices and faces that creates topology and this is uh, what that is so um, when uh, the software is reading these objects um, it's you can kinda tell it in this software to you know project a texture on both sides um, but uh, it's kind of just doing like a, a sort of like a cheat just to short it, sort of display it but it's really not actually there um, and that goes for like video games as well so um, it's the best explanation I can come up with uh, so if you've played video games before you'll probably know what I'm talking about um, I'm gonna turn on this thing called backface culling and that's under the shading tab you don't have to worry about this at all um, and if you do turn this on and you're following along, be sure to turn it off before uh, you close out of this video because it may get you a little confused. So I'm going to turn this on really quickly just to show. And when I click off, you'll notice that black side now is no longer there. And on this side it is. So the best explanation I can come up with for this to sort of explain what's happening is if you've ever played a video game and it's uh, like a third person uh, uh, camera, uh, third person you know whatever third person uh, view um, have you ever gone to like uh, the corner of a room or map or something and your camera is directly behind the character on this angle you could see it right you can see the wall and then when your character gets behind it and your camera gets behind the wall the wall disappears and you can still see everything else over here but and I'm just creating this just to show you so you would still be able to see everything over there but as soon as you rotate over here now you can see the wall but if you get caught in that a lot of people call it a glitch and in a way it kinda is but it's really not because um, what this is is just a two-dimensional object in a three-dimensional world so I hope that makes sense and as we continue um, try and remember uh, that every uh, cube every square that we create and quads are really good for modeling they're super easy they make it really easy to model and and uh, we'll get into that uh, as we begin modeling in the semester but every quad is actually just two tries two triangles so we have one triangle two triangle and um, that if you run into it it just makes it easier to model um, and do, if you can remember, try not to have a whole bunch of extra vertices. As we get into uh, customizing shapes and um, building models, uh, we can get caught up with like a, a whole bunch of vertices in here. Um, so let me just show you as an example. The software won't need these to read it, but as your model gets more complicated, those vertices are still here and it's using those verts to create triangles so I don't know exactly wh where they're going without having them uh, visually displayed but this one might go to this one to create a triangle here this one might go to this one to create another triangle this one to this one you know etc cetera, etc cetera. this one might go down here I'm not really exactly sure without it actually showing and I haven't uh, move any of the verts around but this can cause major issues especially on really complicated models and and really large scenes because it can cause crashing because now the software has to do a lot more calculations to figure out how to display the shape 
So and the, and the faces on here. So um, as you continue the semester, try to be aware and try to keep it in the back of your mind. I know um, after weeks go by, this might uh, you might kind of forget this, but hopefully um, it'll retain somewhere uh, so that while you're modeling, if you if you're running into like some lag and uh, whatever your software crashes this could be one of the issues so be sure to uh, just make sure that in this case I only need four and and quads are okay um, but just remember that it is breaking it down into two tries and in fact we prefer modeling in quads um, it's easy for the software and it's e much easier for us as modelers um, but it can cause a lot of uh, technical difficulties within the software having all those extra verts without um, actually having an edge uh, created to create those shapes uh, so the software because um, without those edges in there uh, physically being in there it can get confusing for the software to calculate where the edges go and that's when you see a lot of those weird glitches and stuff where it's sort of uh, uh, blinking in and out um, if you've ever played a game where you see some weird blinking on a texture or something um, but that's one of the causes so be sure to keep in mind that uh, you have um, you try to remember when modeling try to keep clean topology uh, with quads and or triangles preferably quads as much as possible um, because we can always if if you need it triangulate it later um, but this will uh, save you a ton of issues. So um, that's basically what uh, a polygon, uh, a polygon's topology is broken down into: uh, is vertices or vertex, a single vertex or uh, multiple vertices, uh, edges, and faces. And we want to try to keep it the topology in quads or triangles and just try to remember that every object is actually just a bunch of two-dimensional uh, polygons uh, projecting a three-dimensional shape okay so that's really uh, what it boils down to um, I hope it makes sense. I know this concept will make more sense as the semester goes on, um, but this is sort of a brief overview of how Maya uh, works and how it figures out how to create the shapes it is. Um, and just as a reminder, just in case you did not already turn off back face culling under the shading tab, uh, back face culling, um, be sure to uh, turn it off. And you'll notice now it's uh, a black edge, uh, black face here instead of the gray or actually invisible as it was before. And all this software is telling you is that this side uh, is not technically there basically and this side is. And um, there is a way to reverse it but um, I guess I'll just show you really quickly uh, as I close this video out. Um, <clears throat> if I go into my modeling tab and I go under surfaces, uh, oop, never mind, mesh display, and I do reverse. You'll see that it reversed to the other side, and now this side has the black side on it, or also the invisible side. So um, that's all I've got for you here. Um, I hope that makes sense. And again, um, in case you run into this in, in the future, which some of you probably will, where you're like, how come I have a, uh, a face that's only black where the rest of them are all gray or if you have textures on it or whatever? And that's why. So you can always just do mesh display reverse. And you can do that for individual faces as well. So if I were to hold right click and go to face, select that face and do mesh display reverse, you'll see now that I've got... Um, one triangle on each side showing and that's uh, all really um, the best way that I can uh, show you what topology is uh, and how the two-dimensional polygons create a three-dimensional shape
So anyway, um, I hope this helps. Uh, and if you didn't know how 3D uh, software worked, um, I hope you learned something. And um, yeah, if you do have any questions on this, uh, I can definitely dive further and give you uh, a better explanation of it if you'd like. But um, other than that, uh, yeah, just message me if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.